So this is part two, and we got yes. so excited. We're just going to keep going. This so, is part two of um, Do You Give Yourself the Freedom to Be Yourself as an Individual or in a Couple? And what do you give away? And, and why? why do you give it away? If you're single and moving into a relationship, if you give a part mm -hmm. of that freedom away, yeah. what is it and why? Well, and even as an individual, well, this is something that I yeah, did. Yeah, that's true. No. I, yeah. Even as an individual, we give away. One of my yeah. questions that we, things we don't do, that, that when we don't give ourselves permission to be free. Yes. So that's first. Yes. And as an individual. That, when you said that in part one, that if the, what is there one thing that you realize after this many years alive, I have to have the freedom to either have quiet time or mm. to be active. And I notice it's not just physically hurting. It is internally, I become disturbed. Mm -hmm. That's yes. my word. I become I disturbed. And I can move from disturbed to a hair trigger being pissed off and angry <laughs> because <laughs> I got distracted from what I'm supposed yeah. to be doing, listening to God guiding me mm -hmm. through my day. So when I'm feeling a little bit disturbed, yeah. then I'm, I'm out of sorts. I'm out of center. And it could be something as simple as I get up in the morning and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my vitamin trays out yeah. and I'm going to fill them. And I do that once every two weeks. And then my husband says, da 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 da, whatever it is, you know, do you have that check written? <laughs> Which to me, I interpret as he needs this check written right now. So I have to stop what I'm doing, which is calm and quiet. See, I stop myself. He didn't say, can you write the check? Correct. And I go and I'm sitting in the computer and there, next thing mm. I know, I am so agitated yeah. that he says one thing to me and it's, what did you say? And he goes, whoa, whoa, you know, and I'm saying, like, you're constantly bothering me. I can't get anything done. Yeah. You keep interrupting and doing this when... No, that person yeah. is not doing that. So I just say, <laughs> I say, time out. I said, I apologize for that. And I'm disturbed. And I got distracted from what I'm supposed mm. to be doing, which is something that takes no brain power, calm and quiet. And sometimes I have brain power, but sometimes I don't. Mm. So it's like listening. Mm. Uh, Anytime I don't listen to my higher power guiding me how to go flow throughout the day god's timing God, yeah. and don't you, worry it'll all get done when you feel that when you feel that for people if they don't know because we do incorporate everything from spirituality yeah. to this so yeah. if you don't have a religious thing what does that feel like inside of you just as a person with no other thing like that is the part of self that like mm. is not worried about judgment which is not worried about whether someone is going to like this or dislike mm. it it is a place where you speak from your heart yes. because it's a hundred percent for you it isn't like you know and when you mm. can speak freely because you don't worry that someone is going to judge you don't worry about the reaction but anything that happens after you've spoken those words is okay with you like that is the place that we're talking about mm. and so it's just mm -hmm. so clear clarity like you know for us spirit is the one that shows us that yeah. but it is it's still coming through you so regardless of right. how that right. is of how do you see yourself it's when you're no longer afraid like freedom is really achieved when you are no yes. longer afraid yeah. of like being judged or judge or codependency or wanting right. to fit in belong and conform yes and and that's a natural part of our growing up yes. when you aren't doing anything mm. more but it, when it's only for you like yes when you are aware <laughs> that, of what i yeah. need in this moment because mm. if you can take care of yourself and heal yourself and be the full beautiful potential person you can be any relationship you get yes. into so, Michael, yes. when you shared in the first part that how much all the different masks and the way yeah. you turned yourself into a pretzel and women <laughs> turn themselves into a pretzel so that girlfriend would like you, yeah. you know, and oh. then realized and then you had while. to take a break. Yeah. I experienced the same thing. I decided I cannot date anyone. This is back in my, you know, late in my 20s. Um, or maybe 30s. I don't know. I could not date anyone. I took Couple a time ago. out. Because whoever I dated, it's like I kept pulling the same person in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. And, and then it finally dawned on that. me, it's not that person. <laughs> I'm this. I'm. You're the common the denominator. I'm the common denominator, <laughs> and I finally had to own it. Like the issue that is coming up is is me. Like yeah. that yeah. issue. This is oh it's oh. Just a reflection. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So mm. I worked at changing me at that point, and like you both talked about, yeah. you know, I like Look. green vegetables. Yeah. I like salads. And with my first marriage, I shared with you guys mm -hmm. that hu my <laughs> husband, the father of my son, like fried skinny pork chops, which are delicious, and fried <laughs> potatoes, which are delicious, and he loved fried food, which is delicious. Mm -hmm. And at some point I went, I need a green vegetable. <laughs> I need a salad. <laughs> so it's like... I mean, they make movies about this. Yeah. I think it was The Runaway Bride or something. It's like a million years old. <laughs> and whoever she was with, she those are the eggs she liked. Yeah. That was the kind of food she ate. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, and it, we, what I keep hearing, and, and for me, what it was the same thing, was fi actually finding my center. Mm. I mean, you could say discovering myself, but really it was finding my, the center of my circle. And it's to stand in there, is, it, it doesn't require anything. No, it doesn't. It doesn't require anything. <laughs> like, and, and what's, what's, what's interesting about it is so one of the easy. most attractive things that I find in a woman, like you're very free, you're very free, it's very mm. attractive. And for you to be able to stand in your circle, even mm. when you're freaking out or when you're, you know, having whatever, even something, <laughs> doing something that I don't like, if you can stay in your own circle and just own your own power, I can be the, I, I just could be the most incredible witness. It's very attractive. And it's kind of freaky sometimes, but it's very attractive, right? Yeah. And it's, and it's really about just like own. And for me, it's, it's a reflection for me because I can see where I can own my own power. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's like, can I just be fully expressed and can I allow my wife to be, have upset around that? Yes. Yeah. Or be oh, happy okay. with it or not be happy with it. Well, and it's yeah. like, Okay, but yeah, but that that's just me, right? I get to I get to be that. You don't get to you don't have to be that, you know? Right. And it's like this is where for me is where the rubber hits the road in growth and development because this allows for me to actually get like really deep into where I want to learn, where I want to grow. I'm going to start attract when I'm fully expressed in my own circle, I'm going to start attracting those things that challenge me. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move yes. through them with beauty, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. learn from them, learn from the people around me. And it's like, it's endless. It's endless. And it's a powerful move. You know, one of the things I'm working with now is, and we pointed that out earlier, mm, I'm looking at my <laughs> extra, extra 20 pounds, which, you know, th this week it's, it's an extra 18 pounds. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I have times like I have a really tight shirt on right now, and it's like there's a I'm having this like uncomfortableness to it, but then I'm like, okay, just let it out. That's just my body, you know. Sweet. I could I just I could just be round, a little round, and, and it's like me. whatever. <laughs> yeah. I I put the meaning on that, right? And sure, That's others right. others will judge that, but who cares? I'm in my own circle, right? And just like that, <laughs> you're free. Yeah. That's right, and uh, that's just really like that, freedom. Free. To be free to be yourself, with yourself, in a, as a single, with, in a mm. couple, you know, at work. I mean, people might be free if they feel safe. And what I've really enjoyed over these last, I don't know, you know, 10 years, is being free anytime, anyplace, anywhere. Yes. And mm. saying what is in my heart to say. And, yeah. and being at, and then I'm so amazed because I'm, so relaxed about it. Yeah. It's like it doesn't matter. It's not for anyone else, but, it's, but your yeah. own self-expression. Yeah. It's just being able to be fully expressed. Oh, so I'm going to invite everyone who's enjoying this yes. to just take one day, you know, or take one week and just keep checking in. Am I being me? Is this what I want to do? Am I being free? We're being sharing free. this uh, because we want the world to be a better place to live in and it starts with one person at a time and with that mwah, thank you everyone and um, see you next week <laughs>